Today we're taking a look at Gazlers, a game where you must defend your train from hordes of enemies, but is this a train ride you want to embark on? Let's go over what the game offers and what I think. To start off you're greeted by a little robot and a giant start button amongst other things, but I suggest you just play and get used to the game and the various combinations of your weapons. It works on a wave base so each wave will increase in difficulty and let me tell you they really do get difficult. Gameplay wise it's very simple to understand, you aim and shoot at the gazlers and various other items in the wasteland such as balloons and traps. Shooting balloons will give you scrap and others will give you health, but trying to shoot these while defending yourself and shooting the gazlers can be quite difficult at times. But you do have a shield which can help you block bullets, although it does overheat. After each wave you will receive an upgrade for your weapon, there are tons of combinations to so find the ones that work best for you. Some of my favourites are the barrel mag with the shotty or the laser front. The laser is great for accuracy whereas the shotty does quite a bit of damage when the enemy get close. There is also upgrades for your shield and health but these can decrease other elements when equipped. Each area has six waves which includes various enemy types and a boss. Once you complete the sixth wave you will get a crystal and this will take you to the next biome. Trying to get far at the beginning is actually quite difficult so this is where the grindy gameplay mechanics come in. Each upgrade costs scrap which start at 5,000 then 10, 25 and lastly 50,000. This may not sound like too much of a grind, but bear in mind until you upgrade you're not going to get to the later stages, so you will average somewhere between 5 to 10,000 scrap per run. This game is also a roguelite, so every time you die you will have to start from the first area. There is also the database which logs all the modifications you find while playing. Also if you're someone who likes chasing leaderboards there is one for high scores, so try your best to gather as much scrap as possible each time. As for the settings there isn't any to adjust as this is a game where you stand and shoot, but you will need to duck and dodge bullets so bear this in mind when you consider the game. I have tested this while seated and even though it does state you can play the game seated I wouldn't advise it. This isn't due to you not being able to, but more so the game doesn't recenter and therefore everything is a little bit taller than you. I also found it a little bit more difficult to dodge the bullets when seated. Time for the graphics, they're full of colour and have a somewhat cell shaded animated texture. Each weapon modification looks different as do the various biomes you travel to throughout your journey. I'm happy with the graphics and they fit the game very well. I've not gathered a story plot for this game other than you have to try and reach the temple of the machine god. So there's an objective for the player to work towards, but again with games like this I'm not too fussed that there isn't a major story plot. Overall Gazes is a fun but difficult journey and I'm sure a lot of people may get turned off at the initial hurdle and with that I say persevere. In my first hour I was somewhat baffled by the overpriced upgrades and the repetitiveness of the first area. However once I got some upgrades I was enjoying my time a lot more and I was getting further with every try. I did run into a couple of issues with the game, I found the tracking to go off sometimes and the gun to drift. A quick shake of the controller will fix this, I only found this to happen when holding the shield and the gun close together. The other issue is one that I mentioned earlier about sitting and playing. The game doesn't recenter, so everything will be slightly taller, hopefully the developers can fix this one with a patch. So the question is, should you get Gazzas now or wait for a sow? And this heavily depends on these factors. If you enjoy grindy gameplay and or roguelites, which require you to move around, then give this one a go, as it's a good challenge which has a lot of playability. However, if you're someone who doesn't like moving about, roguelites or grindy gameplay, then I think you should avoid it. Overall, I've personally enjoyed my time with Gazzas and it keeps getting better the more I play. So that concludes my Gazzlers review, if you've enjoyed this video then make sure to comment, like and subscribe, I'll be covering all PSVR 2 games therefore you'll see the older releases as well as the new. Thanks for watching.